The early bird catches the worm. Welcome back to O'Connor's Kitchen. It's a great day to be outside. What a beautiful morning. But it's also a great day to be in the kitchen. Let's start cooking. Today we have an elk bourguignon on the menu, inspired by my mother's beef bourguignon. But we're gonna use elk meat from Jacksonville Buffalo Meats down the street from us in Wyoming. We've got some roasted broccoli. We have samurai bread, of course, today, and we're gonna dress that up today with some sage from the garden and some dried cranberries. I'll show you how to make that really pretty. And then we're gonna have some chocolate cupcakes and I'm gonna show you how to make a chocolate ganache. So let's get started. So I wanted to show you how to dress up your samurai bread for the holidays. We have our samurai bread has been rising for about 50 minutes. Now I'm gonna dip, dip my hands in some water so it's not so sticky and spread it out in the well-greased bread pan that you get in your kit. If you don't have your kit, go to okanoskitchen.com and order yours today. It comes with two mixes and you can make four loaves actually, or two loaves per mix, sorry. So we're gonna spread this dough out in the pan. It's very sticky. So I just keep using a little bit of water to wet my hands. All right, next we're gonna add some fresh sage leaves. So I just picked these from the garden and I'm just gonna kinda play, make a little design with the sage. And it, it gives it a nice savory taste, but it also just dresses it up so it looks really pretty. This would be a great gift to bring if you're going to a holiday party. And I just want to say that I use King Arthur flour right here in Vermont, up the road. So I, I find that it's a really high quality flour and it's important. I like to use ingredients that are local to my community. So King Arthur, shout out to you. And then we're gonna add some cranberries. Look how fun this is. This you could do with your kids or just have fun yourself decorating. A little red and green for the holiday. Boom. Just make sure that you stick it in. Stick those cranberries in, like punch it in a little bit. Now the last thing I'm gonna do before I stick this in the oven is I'm gonna take a little um, pastry brush with a little olive oil and spread a little bit on each of these sage leaves so that they don't, crimp, so they don't crumple up in the oven. So just take a little brush, or you could do this with your fingers if you don't have a pastry brush, and just kind of paint some olive oil on those leaves. And now we're ready for the oven. So the first step is to brown the elk meat. Actually my least favorite part because it's kind of splatters. You've got to dry the elk meat out so there's no juice on the outside of the meat. We're gonna heat this oil up really hot. I salted and peppered the meat. Now I'm gonna take this elk and we're gonna brown it. You want it nice and brown. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through, but it's gotta be one of the things, the reasons why you dry the meat off is it so it develops this nice crust. So I'm gonna get those all in the pan. That nice sizzle is what you want. That's how you can tell that the oil's hot enough. This beautiful elk meat is very lean, a lot lower in fat than beef and it doesn't really have a gamey taste. We make this at our at Jackson Hole Mountain Guides because it's a nice hearty meal to eat up high in the mountains. It's also great to eat in the wintertime. Okay, all the meat is browned and now I'm gonna add carrots, celery and onions and we're gonna Cook those up, soften those up a bit. As a these vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna add in a little bit of bacon for flavor and some garlic, some smashed garlic. And those vegetables are cooking up really nicely. So now we're ready to start adding, layering the elk bourguignon. So we've got the bacon, we've got celery, onions, carrots. I like to chop the carrots nice and thick because they're gonna cook for a long time and you don't want them to mush up. So now we have this elk meat that I 
browned, and we're gonna put that in, dump that in, with all the juices. You don't wanna miss out on any juice. Then we're gonna add some homemade chicken broth that I made. We're gonna add almost this whole bottle of wine, if you can believe it. You don't have to buy fancy wine. This is just a Cabernet. But that's gonna soak into that meat. It's gonna be delicious. You want it to cover the meat. We're gonna add in bay leaf and some more of this Herbs de Vermont. I love that, Herb de Vermont. There we go, fun. And stir that up. I can't really taste it yet. I'll taste it in a couple hours though. And some fresh parsley. And now, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm. And my beautiful Le Creuset pot is ready for the oven with elk bourguignon. Now we're gonna cook this at a low temperature, about 300 degrees for two or three hours until it all thickens up. Ready for the oven with my samurai bread. I always forget that my hands aren't pot grips. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Le Creuset, do your thing. So while everything else is on in the oven, I can take advantage of that and I've got my broccoli ready for the oven. So I'm gonna make some roasted broccoli and broccolini. I just put that on some parchment paper and sprinkle some olive oil and put a little salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna stick that in the oven. That'll only take about 20 minutes. So I'll take that out before the rest. Stick that right in. This is an important step that you need to know for the elk bourguignon. It's been in the oven for about an hour. And what I'm doing here, this was something that my mother did that I think adds a real depth to the flavor. And she would caramelize some red onion in balsamic vinegar, again from seven barrels, and a little olive oil. And you cook that down for about 15 minutes and you'll be able to smell the balsamic, this apple balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna add that to our bourguignon, which is gonna really, give it a yummy flavor. So I'm just gonna open up the oven and put those onions in. Let's see how it's doing. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. About another hour, it's gonna be unbelievable. So we're gonna put these onions right in, caramelized. I think that was my mother's magic trick for the burkino. Okay, cover that back up. Samurai bread look is looking good. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that's about ready to come out. I'm gonna actually take the samurai bread out of the pan. That's another trick that I have to kind of brown the whole sides of the bread. It's not gonna actually need that much more. It's nice and brown. I'm gonna separate them gently because we've got those beautiful sage leaves and cranberries. Stick that back in. I think that'll take about another 15 minutes. For dessert, we're having chocolate cupcakes with a chocolate ganache. Ganache. Ganache is made with butter and buttermilk and some powdered sugar and you melt it, you melt it all together and you get this shiny, delicious frosting that heats up, that you have to heat up because once it starts to cool down, it, it gets stiff. So while it's heated up, you can see that we're gonna take a cupcake. I made these, I just made these for my son's wedding in Montana and it was so beautiful. A little ganache on top and it gets kind of shiny and you can just dip it in. It's really kind of a fun, fun thing to do. Look how beautiful and shiny that is. And then I've got some frozen raspberries here and I'm just gonna grab one and just stick one on top. How pretty is that? Okay, we're ready to serve this delicious meal up. Let's look in the oven and see what we have. Oh la la, we've got some roasted broccoli and broccolini. Nicely roasted, I have to say. Let's look at the samurai bread. Oh yeah, dressed up for, dressed up for dinner. A little sage and cranberry. Two loaves in every mix. Come on, look how delicious that looks. And 
Our centerpiece, the Elk Bourguignon. Oh la la. Let's see what we did here. Voila. Oh my goodness. Those onions with caramelized onions have melded nicely with the elk and the carrots and the onions. I'm going to take a tasting spoon and just taste. Look at that beautiful sauce. Mmm, it's amazing what a bottle of red wine will do. <laughs> Let's serve that up. Ah, oh, I can't wait to serve this up. With a stew, I always like to serve it with egg noodles. So these are just regular egg noodles that I added some fresh parsley and olive oil to. So we're gonna put start with that in our bowl. Uh, stick, soak up the juices nicely. And we're gonna take a big scoop of this elk bourguignon. Thank you, Jacksonville Buffalo Meats. Mountain High, we serve this on the mountain because it's a great hearty comfort food. Keeps you going all day. Look at that. Then we have to have our veggies. So we're gonna have some broccoli and broccolini roasted. Put those right on the side here, why not? Looks pretty, you can soak that up. And then I'm gonna move one of these beautiful loaves to the side so we have to cut into our samurai bread. Oh, the crunch, can you believe it? This is gonna soak up that juice like none other. Look at that delicious samurai bread. And what a meal we have. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Welcome to the Mountain Guides. They operate five mountain guiding companies in the American West. The Mountain Guides of Utah, the Mountain Guides of Red Rock, the Mountain Guides of Montana, the Mountain Guides of Colorado. Their flagship operation in Jackson Hole is based in Jackson and leading trips all over the high peaks of the Rocky Mountains. Join their custom mountain adventures led by experienced guides in the iconic destinations. For more information, log on to themountainguides.com.